Well, if you've hit the age of 40 and you've suddenly found yourself, you know, holding objects further away to read them or having to pick up that six pair of reading glasses at the drugstore, well, guess what? You are not alone. The loss of near vision called age-related presbyopia affects millions of people around the world. And joining us now is Dr. Greg Parkhurst, founder of New Vision Texas, to tell us why this happens and what we can do about it. Welcome, doctor. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. No, of course. Now, tell us a little bit more about this condition. Yeah. Well, this is something that's normal. It happens to everybody. You know, we get into middle age, people that wear glasses all the time, they actually have to start wearing bifocals, you know, like the dreaded line on the bottom. Uh, people that were born to great vision, or let's say they had laser surgery when they were younger, so they don't have to wear glasses or contacts anymore. At this age, they start holding reading material, stretching their arm out. Right. Uh, at some point, their arm's just not long enough. I've seen people get like selfie sticks to stretch it out a little further. No. So there's all kinds of like maneuvers to get around this but it's something that we're all going to have to deal with at some point so besides noticing that you know you might be using a selfie stick okay to to, to read and be able to see uh, what are some signs to look for yeah so sometimes people that wear glasses all the time they'll actually find that taking their glasses off will will, will help them to see up close you know, when they wear glasses to help them see far before they need bifocals, sometimes taking them off to see up close is what they'll do. Uh -huh. Other times, people will go to the drugstore and look for like the dreaded cheaters. So there's usually <laughs> like a rack of them. People don't know which power they need, but like, I'll just try this one and they'll throw on some cheaters and oh, voila, I can see up close. Right. And so what are some solutions for it? You know, beyond just the cheaters. Yeah. Because there's got to be something better. Right? Yeah. So there's actually <laughs> there's actually several different options, which is really exciting for people. Uh, some folks think that they're they're stuck with glasses or they're stuck with contact lenses. Um, the beauty is we actually have surgical procedures nowadays with laser technology to correct for this. Um, there's, there's several different ways to do it. Okay, and so you're conducting a research study about a new treatment option. What can you tell us about that? We are, so this one's really interesting. I think a lot of people are familiar with you know, glasses and contact lenses and even laser surgery. What many people don't know is what we're gonna be studying now is actually the use of an eye drop to cure this. So, an eye drop? Like, yes, yes. So like, you know, like a little Visine bottle that right. you see? Yeah. Right. So, so that's what we're going to study. It's like, if I put these eye drops in, is that going to solve my ability to now like zeal, be able to zoom and see up close again? Oh my goodness. Okay. So Dr. Greg Barger, founder of New Vision Texas, tell folks what they need to know if they're starting to notice that their vision is their near vision might be going. Yeah, so I mean, I'm in this age demographic myself and a lot of my friends are like, what is going on with my eyes? I think I need to come in for LASIK because something is changing right now. So, so for people that are at least 45 years yeah. old, that's the minimum age for entry into this clinical study. If they're noticing problems with their ability to read and see close, uh, they may qualify for this clinical study. All right, so they just need to go ahead and get a hold of you there at New Vision Texas and let's get that information up on the screen. For more information on New Vision Texas, all you have to do is is called 210-585-2020. That's 210-585-2020. Or just visit the website, newvisiontx.com.